זו הפרשה ונותיך, יום שלישי. פירא זרמה, הפרשתה האיתמר עובדה דמינתה, ותיקונתה בכל מדבה אמה אחז ימי אחרה. In this parasha we are, uh, we are saying about uh, the, uh, the menorah, you know, all the details of the menorah. That's why is it repeated since we already said it in the parasha Tetzaveh. And everything that we're saying here, we, uh, we said it in that parasha. Because once we did say all the, uh, the offerings that the, the each prince of each Shevet brought, right, of each tribe, so there were 12 of them. And then we had to add also what, uh, uh, what Aaron Akuan did. Uh, why? To show that it was more important than what, what he brought or what he did is uh, not to bring an offering but to light the menorah that was most important than the bringing of these offerings. Because we should know that in above, in Olam Atzilut, there is also menorah and all its lights uh, and they are, they are lit by Aaron Akwen, which is the fact that Aaron lit the menorah that was here in this world. He made, he made the superior menorah, which is in this, uh, this, this world above, to be lit also. Come and see. Now the Hanukkah of Izbeach in the inauguration, there was 12 prince, prince right, that uh, came and brought the offerings. And we've learned that these 12 were divided in the four sides, right, in the, the four uh, directions. And these four directions, so they were, uh, and they had uh, four, the Galim, four flags, huh? So if we say that there, there were there are twelve, right? There's four directions. There were three tribes in each direction, right? Mm-hmm. Each three and one, and they each had their flags. But instead of having all the flags, let's see here. There was also four main flags, right? And everything is similar to what there is above. As the words, as there is here, twelve tribes. There is also twelve angels that sustain or that carry the Vechkava, right? The, the the celestial chariot, and they also divided in four directions. And this we call the Avaruchot Shalakise. I mean, of the 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 throne, of the four sides of the throne. And so this menorah had seven branches, right? So seven, uh, seven lights. And there were, there, it was lit by the Kohen. And it's also similar because the menorah is, uh, represents the Sifira Malchut. And the seven lights represent the seven sefirot that are inside the sefirah malchut, right? From Chesed, Shil Malchut. And so the, and there was the menorah was uh, lit all the time, right? And it says it was like a miracle. And this is also uh, uh, explained on the, all the secrets of the menorah. And the Pesach that comes is not only the Pesach that comes from Avodah, and there was also a Mizbeach Penimi, which means, uh, we said Mizbeach, 
Altı. Altı. Gede was at altı. So it was which means in the in, in an interior. And which and there was one that was exterior. Right? One was for the ketoret and one was more for the carbonate. So the one that was penimi was represented like the bina, and the one that was chitzoni was like the malchut. So the, the, the penimi gives to the chitzoni, so as the bina gives to the malchut. As it is written, shemen uh, uktoret is samachlev. That means the oil and the incense rejoice the heart. So we know that shemen oil is an allusion to the menorah, and the ketoret is uh, is a remez to the uh, to the mizbeach of the ketoret, and we have learned that these two mizbeachot, these two altars, right? The one we said was penimi, and one uh, was uh, chitzoni. The one that was penimi was the one that was giving joy, right? that was giving the joy, and the uh, and the one that was exterior was for the korbanot. And since it is the kabbalot and it's like the malchut, the one of the uh, exterior was what we call uh, doing aliyat aman. Aliyat aman was to bring up mayim nuvin, which is the, what we call in the Kabbalah the uh, feminine waters. It's an expression to say that something comes up, comes up to sim- stimulate something that will come down, which is called mayim duchin, which is the ma- masculine water. Of course, we are talking here about different energies. And you need one to awaken the other. And the one that brings the shefa is the masculine uh, waters, if you call them like that. But before, it has to be a simulation. So this simulation was done by the Mizbeach. And from the one that was Penimi, right, like we said, the Simcha and the shefa, the abundance, will come out and go to the exterior ones from the Bina to the Malchut. And says, happy are the one that could understand these things and knew that there is a secret in that with the two names of Hashem. That one is Amonai and one is Yudkev of K. Amonai, who knows the Malchut, and Yudkev of K is the one before. But the, uh, the Yudkev of K had also a Nikudim, you know, the, uh, the vowels. And the vowels had to be like the ones of the name Elohim. So this is one of the secrets of these names here. Huh? And uh, this is also the reason why they did not bring the ketoret uh, only when there was the menorah, right? Because not to make a separation between Bina and Malchut. And as it is written in the book of Shalomo HaMelech, it says that the Keturet is for the Simcha, and to take off the Magifah, to take off all the, the, the bad uh, things, the, the epidemy. What is the reason? Because when it is lit, the Dinim, I mean the, the, the rigors, uh, uh, that exist that are there before. I mean, once the uh, Mizbeach is lit, and they're both of them, right? So the, 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 the one that represents Bina, the Pinimi, gives to the one that is a Chisunis and Mahut, then all these Dinim are annulled automatically. So why is there Simcha? Because there's no Dinim. Because when there's Dinim, there's no Simcha. So the, the, when they both are lit, so automatically there's Simcha, so the Dinim don't, don't exist in, you know, anymore. And that's why we said that the Ketoret, it was the Kesher HaKol, it was the Ketoret that was putting everything together. Huh? He says, Happy is the lot of Israel in this world and in the world to come. As Hashem said, you are my servant, you Israel. In, in other words, what does that mean? I mean, you are my servant. You're the one doing what I, I want. I want to be done. Mm-hmm. So this is exactly what it means. I mean, in other words, Hashem wants this harmony to be in the high worlds. So to be in the higher worlds, 
harmony has to be here first. I mean, we have to do this harmony. But this harmony can only be done with all these things that are enumerated here, like for the, the, the Mizbar Penimi, the Mizbar Petsoni, the Ketoret, the Menorah, and the Koromano, all those things had one reason, to bring this harmony not only in this world, but in the higher worlds. And this is what is important. This is also our role. That today we don't have a Mizbeach, but we do this for Tefilot, we do this for Mizvot, and everything that we do. We do what? We try to bring out this harmony and this harmony, so there will be the same up. And I think this is what Hashem wants. There will be shalom and joy in the higher dimension. So also here should be joy and uh, what we call shefa, abundance. Shifa. For Kulam. Shifa. 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 Shifa.